Hello folks, welcome again to the one, the only, Hobo Tom. Um, eventually sometime this week I'm going to go hopefully meet my new girlfriend, which is always a good sign. But I'm not here to talk about that. Oh, we're here to talk about Raw, but first, happy Martin Luther King to everyone. I have a dream. Um, what was What's the other major part of it? Free at last, free at last. Finally, we are free at last. Um, amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. So again, here's a little tribute to the great Martin Luther King. And with that being said, I have some other shoutouts to give. Joey's life. It's here to figure out which one. I know you got one already. Mark down the list. List of stuff. Oh, that's my other list of stuff. No, not that file. That's the file I want. You, sir, this time around, our master air guitarist. And Riley Huss, you just got yourself a six count.
go. And if you too would like to get your, your own dedicated video, you can either email or send a comment. Yeah, if likes can do it. That's okay. Um, so hopefully everyone's staying warm. This is Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King kind of extended weekend. It's finally winter here in Florida. I miss this weather. I miss Michigan. I miss snow. Snow's fun. Again, not here to talk about snow. I'm here to talk about some raw. And wow. Raw's actually getting better and better. They're having prolonged storylines that they're that are interconnected with the exception of God, God, horrible main event. They have to do away with it. I just want the sand. This is terrible. Just have the freaking evening gown match. The brawn panties match and, and have them kiss and make up. Just have them get over with it. It's just terrible. Um, I don't even I don't even care if Lana and and Liv kiss and make up. That's this is just going on way too long. I'll tell you what. Uh, if it ends by Bobby Lashley and Rusev kissing, I'm I'm fine with that too. Uh, but it starts off uh, the Monday Night Messiah. Seth Rollins comes out with his new disciple, Buddy Murphy. Authors of pain show up. And they say they want they want some belts. They want to be jur hates in gold. Like Adam Cole, baby. Because you know he's undisputed era people for life. I got that right. It's always hard because I have to remember it's a mirror image. Um, so the first match of the night. This should have been the main event. It was Rey Mysterio versus Andrade in a ladder match. And Rey Mysterio is no stranger to ladder matches. I think the last time Rey Mysterio had a ladder match, it was uh, Dominic, Dominic Mysterio's custody papers. It was Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero. Oh, jeez. Two th and something. It was a while ago. That was fun, though. Um, so this was a ladder match. A ladder match is always fun. Again, please don't die. Please don't die. Um, so Zelina Vega. She comes out in some full-length ice skater bodysuit. Her outfits get interesting and interesting every time because I'm like, what? Figure skater, did you borrow that from me? But that's okay. Um, first thing, Andrade just goes for ladders. So many ladders. I am the ladder. I am the ladder. I am the barricade. Cuckoo, cuckoo. It's a, kind of a parody of an old Beatles song. Some of the older people who have watched this might know who the Beatles actually are. You know what song I'm referencing? Because I can't get a copyright strike for that. First of all, it's terribly sung. Two, it's not even the right lyrics, and it's probably nowhere even near the right. Um, so Andrade just goes right out of the ring, goes to get a ladder, and Mysterio drops kick sub ladder into Andrade's face. So, again, so many ladders. Uh, he did a Frankensteiner. On, on when on him and Andrade were on the were on top on the top rope onto said ladder, fly Ray fly! Wow, he still has it. You still got it, Andrade, and he just gets dropped onto all the ladder. I was kind of getting nervous. I I was I was glad that we didn't have a John Mercury. Incident, and uh, with John Murphy, what happened to him? He was he got tossed outside. Someone hit the ladder, so the ladder was kind of teeter teetering, like this. He was going down. He was going to miss the ladder. Someone hit this end of the ladder. Ladder came up, 
hit him square in the face, literally exploded into his nose. He did suffer, I think, a broken nose in places and a broken orbital bone. But it just looked like his nose exploded. It was not pretty looking. So I'm just happy none of that happened in the match. Because there were so many ladders in the ring. They were just getting suplexed onto the ladders. That has to hurt. I've never been I've been suplexed before. I've never been suplexed on a ladder though. Was I ever suplexed on a chair? I think it was body slammed on a chair once. That's not necessarily pleasant. The ladders have the deeper grooves than chairs do. That's, ouch. That's where, like, vertebrae can, like, literally, like, skip into. That does not look good. Uh-huh. And what was it? Who did that? Bounced onto the ladder. They had, like, bouncing ladders setting up. They had a ladder set up. A ladder off of that, and a ladder off of that. And pre <laughs> precariously on the ropes. The ropes keep on moving. The, the ropes follow Newton's laws of physics. A body in motion tends to in motion. So when you go running off the ropes, the ropes kind of still, still do that. And unfortunately, if the ropes are doing that, the ladders are also kind of doing that. Which, you have to get the timing on really good. And then, oh, she fell. Ray Mysterio fell right on the ladder. It just looked painful to the back. I'm just glad Ray Mysterio was able to get up. Oh, Ray, as Lena Vega then climbed the ladder herself. Oh, wow. We almost saw all of Lena Vega, too. Because she got up there to straddle that ladder. Wow. Yeah, that, that was weird. Ice skater, our bodies. They're just weird. I don't even know where Zelina would get something her size. She's tiny. That, I don't know. She seemed taller. I mean, it was just the, the skater, the figure skating suit. I have no idea. But then uh, Ray eventually climbed the ladder. He was dangling from the belt. He was hanging. Oh. Andrade realized that Ray's too short. He couldn't grab his feet. So eventually Ray did have to let, let go of the belt. Uh, he got DDT'd onto a ladder. And Andrade recovered his belt to the top. And then he. So Andrade wins. He retains. I'll tell you what. If Zelina Vega wouldn't have gotten involved, this would have been a little bit higher rated because she did. It was almost that money in the. Woman's money in the bank feeling when Ellsworth threw the, the bank down to Carmella. It's more like James Ellsworth, a man, won the woman's first ever Money in the Bank match. So it was, was kind of screwy. But because she didn't touch the title, eh, she, she really didn't need to get involved. If she passed in she, more ladders, that could have been pretty good. But this, again, was a surf and turf match. And Dominic Mysterio comes out, realizing that his dad's going to get beat up some more by Andrade. He starts beating up Andrade himself. I want to. I want to. They haven't had any schedule for the Daytona Beach, Florida house tour circuit for NXT. I wonder if Dominic's doing any work in NXT. I don't know. The, the wrestling. Rey Mysterio's father wrestled. Uh, it was for a longest time Rey Mysterio Jr. And this would be Dominic Mysterio. It'd be cool to see if he if he follows the tradition of wearing the mask. Then the WWE had a nice Martin Luther King tribute. You already saw mine. Theirs was probably better, but whatever. And it was Alistair Black versus some jobber. It was it was one kick. Alistair Black wins. This was useless. This is this was a can of soup.
Then Brock Lesnar comes out. And of course, if you have Brock Lesnar, my name is Paul Heyman. And I am the advocate for the reigning, current, undisputed WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. Well, sorry, I do have to do a little research here. I'll go to web crawler. And of course, Paul Heyman says, uh, well, who's going to face Brock Lesnar? No, Brock Lesnar is going to face everyone. And then Ricochet comes out. Ricochet, you know what? You should stay in the back. Came in, talked a little bit too much. You had Bron Brock Lesnar going from kind of happy laughing at you guys to, okay, it's time, time to let this guy know who I am. Because I think at one point Brock's like, who are you? And then. Brock Lesnar let Ricochet know who he was because oh, did I have some? Wow, that's what happens when you do a show for longer than oh, I do. Good. I'll have another one then. Yeah. Brock Lesnar, F5, poor Ricochet. Poor Ricochet. Gets F5 for his efforts. He tried. Uh, and then there was... <laughs> and then I swear, <laughs> Brock Lesnar was going to play Duck Duck Goose with the announce table. Because he just went, went up to the announce table, patted Jerry the King Lawler on the back, patted, um... Oh, what's... It wasn't Mike. Yeah, well, yeah, it was Michael. No. I don't think it was Michael Cole. He patted the other guy on the back, too. He, he just laughed. He's like, yep, good job. Jerry the King Lawler's like absolutely terrified. But he's Brock Lesnar. And Randy Orton gives his promo. That was actually pretty good. I'll tell you what, another fun match it was Randy Orton versus Drew McIntyre. Oh. Drew starts talking smack. And the trash talking in the ring to Randy Orton. This is a good classic wrestling match. This is your typical Randy Orton wrestling match. Um, I I am the barricade though, because they get tossed into the barricade. That seems to be the thing though, being tossed into the barricade. I know it was Bastard Pa that kind of started that trend. He's like, we're just gonna go wrestle outside, and we're gonna be tossed all over the barricades. Because it's the barricades. So it used to be, I am the table. No, I am the barricade. I am the barricade. I am the barricade. Choo -hoo, choo -hoo. Again, look up old Beatles songs and you'll. I think the tune I carry is pretty close to, to the Beatles song, too. Um, but then, Drew. Oh. He, they were on the outside. He Claymore kicked the timekeeper because Randy Orton got out of the way. That poor timekeeper never saw it coming. He got clobbered. Oh wow! And I think that was, I think that was actually going to be a spot. It was pretty cool because then, of course, the production team shows up because you know if it was really bad, they would just have like the real EMT shows up. Once you see you guys in black t-shirts, you're like, okay. Uh, so then there was a drop kick out of nowhere because Drew McIntyre went up to the top. Instead of the, instead of the RKO out of nowhere, anyone decides to drop kick Drew McIntyre as he comes flying down. Uh, there was, of course, all those chops. Oh, so good. Um, there was the draping DDT. Randy was like, yeah, <laughs> you, you wanted some of this. You're getting some of this. Um, and then there was a surprise Scottish headbutt. Randy Orton was going to go for the RKO out of nowhere, but instead he eats a Scottish headbutt. Oh, I think the Scottish headbutt is ashes surpassed the Samoan headbutt. The Samoan headbutt used to be unstoppable. I don't know, that's Scottish headbutt. Even when Jack Gallagher does it, it looks brutal. 
I know Jack Gallagher is English, but still, I guess it's the same island at least. Uh, then Orin does a power slam and a superplex. Uh, but we gotta fill, folks. We gotta fill the that's the finish, baby. Nobody wins because the OC came out and they beat up both fellas in the ring. Um, eventually, uh, I want to say Gallows got Claymore and Anderson ate an RKO. And then it just left. AJ Styles kind of left the ring. He's like, I'm, I'm not done with both of you boys yet. Um, so for the match wise, eh, it was good. If, if it wasn't a death, if it wasn't a death, the finish, then a real finish would be better. But this in itself, a dusty cheeseburger. Then Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton kind of, kind of like respectfully stare at each other until Drew got RKO. Oh, the RKO out of nowhere. Oh, and then Drew's like, "Next time, Randy, that's not gonna happen because I'll claim more you first. Then we had Charlotte Flair giving a promo. Woo! I don't know. Charlotte Flair just doesn't do it for me. And let's see. Oh, then we had Kyrie Sane, I think. Kind of was missing stuff. I was making myself dinner at this point. Coming home from work. Uh, Kyrie Sane taking on Becky Lynch. Oh, 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 oh let's go. Oh, wait, that's Sammy Zane's. Or did I just merge Becky Lynch and Sami Zayn together because they sound the same? WWE has to fix that. Because it's just too confusing now. So it's Kyrie Sane taking on Becky Lynch. Pretty good solid match. I'll tell you what, Kyrie Sane is amazing in the ring. Um, she's cute looking. Amazing worker in the ring. Again, I actually got... Well, I got for my ex-girlfriend's nephew, Kyrie Sane's autograph. And I've told that story multiple times. Maybe a couple other weeks on the road, I'll tell that story. She was absolutely shocked that someone remembered her from Stardom. And I had a picture of her holding the Stardom title. She signed it. I was thoroughly ecstatic. Right after that match, we went to Walmart. Got some ice cream sandwiches and a couple of photo frames. So at least he has memories of Kyrie Sane, even though I wish. On that wall back there, I had... Candice LeRae's autograph. Oh, well, one thing I do miss. Candice LeRae's autograph. Wow. I would have dropped my pen around the ring. Give those fat cops from Daytona Beach a run for their money. I know that much. Um, <laughs> especially the ones that watch the wrestling matches. <laughs> the poor EMTs would probably just laugh and have a good chuckle. They're like, <laughs> Uh, but it was a good match, though. I mean, Kyrie Sane, again, both hard-hitting. Kyrie Sane's amazing. Becky, you can tell Becky Lynch was trying to protect her a little bit. Becky's definitely the safe, probably one of the safest, most conservative workers while still making wrestling seem realistic. Sasha Bosch is not good. Charlotte Flair has, she's either really good or really bad. Lacey Evans, the jury's still on her. Sonya Deville's actually improves a lot. Mandy Rose, very good. The so Bella should never enter the ring ever again. Um, who else is there? Dana Brooks is pretty good, too. She's improving leaps and bounds. Sarah Logan, as long as she's not swinging fists, is okay. Uh, she did bust open um, Dana Brooke once. Uh, Nia Jax is going under double knee surgery. I don't know, I don't know where Tamina Snook is. She feel like disappeared. Lexa Briss is, is pretty simple. Nikki Cross is also... Nikki Cross is amazing. That's neither here nor there. 
And then it's a good match. And then Kyrie takes again. She's just the one getting beat up. Uh, eventually, she falls into the disarmor. Uh, so Kyrie Sane has to tap, but then while Kyrie Sane's in the disarmor, oh, how dare they use this or use this phrase? They could have called him like the running knee, but they said, "Does Oscar now have the shiniest wizard?" Listen, there's only one girl with the shiniest wizard, and that's Nixon Newell. Oh no, I mean Tegan, because Nixon Newell, she's also amazing too. I have a selfie with Nixon Newell. Seriously, oh, do I still have it? Again, everyone's heard the story. I embarrass the heck out of her. Oh, wait. Hooray. Smiley face. Let's see, I have to do this quickly. Oh, old technology. Oh, where is it? I have to clean the screen up. It's been gunky. So many boats. I went to the boat show the past weekend. Took pictures of all, of all the boats I can't afford. Let's see, where is she? She's here somewhere. There's him, her. There, 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 there. Oh, wait. No. Ah, oh, there she is. There she is. The girl with the shiniest wizard. Nixon Noel. Again, if she ever walked in, walked up to me and said, I remember you. Remember me? I'd be like, uh. No. But that's okay. Again, she doesn't even look like a pro wrestler there. She's amazing. Uh, so, Asuka has a new Chinese wizard. And this is going to confuse the math because Becky wins, but Asuka stands strong. And Kairi Sane is just the sweetest wrestler there is. And this was another fun match. This was a good cheeseburger match. And let's see how quick I can get this done. They mentioned Rocky Johnson's passing again. I already put up my tribute. And then we have Seth, Roll Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy taking on the Viking Raiders. And with Seth and Murphy, out come the Authors of Pain. The Viking Raiders are accompanied by Kevin Owens and Samoa oh, Joe. Eventually, I guess sometime during the break, the ref said, Ah, we're not having these shenanigans. Authors of Pain, Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, get out of here. Hit the bricks. Whoa, everyone's rejected. Everyone's ejected, and then it goes. Then it's down to Rollins and Murphy versus Viking Raiders. Ken Murphy and I want to know: Can Murphy hang in a New Japan Pro Wrestling style match? Because that's what this kind of became. Uh, Buddy Murphy, he should again never tug on the beard of a Viking. Very bad mood. Um, eventually, Ivar does get the hot tag again. He cleans house. Seth <laughs> again. He made the save. So there was no Viking experience. Seth again made the save. Buddy Murphy, he was going to eat the pin. And I'm like, uh oh, wait a second. Something's up with this. It was a cheeky Nana kick by Seth. And I know I'm getting that wrong because it's the one he tucks the guy's head between his legs and kicks him there. Uh, Chichi Hernandez, I, I honestly forget. Every so often, they, they do it a lot in Triple A. I think that's where it gets its name. The, the Chichi Nando kick. Um, Seth then curb stomps and I'll tell you what Seth is getting into John Cena level spot comics you can tell him uh, Ivar eventually cut oh, he had that rough apron bump that wasn't even funny and then Eric got curb stomped as he was on the ropes so his chest on the ro his throat his chest was on the ropes. He got curb stomped onto the apron, bounced back in the ring. Buddy Murphy picked up the pin. Did I do this right? Yeah. That's right. This wasn't even the main event, was it? There's still more. Why did I think this was the main event? That's okay. So this was uh, overall, it was a cheeseburger match. And then we have kind of like a mid-show break. So what we have going on here, we have um, kind of the classic SNL Saturday Night Live um, news thing. Skit doing by the Street Profits. Yeah, it's okay. And then <laughs> they had R-Truth 
hard truth. Oh, well. And I want to know something. I want to know why they were playing Val Venus's theme. If you don't know who Val Venus is, um, back in the 80s and 90s, he was a male porn star who became a professional wrestler. Uh, that was his whole shtick. Uh, he would come out and howl, do his hip swivels, make the ladies go ooh. Um, he had an affair with, oh, what's his face? Is from Kind Tai, his wife. And it was Choppy Choppy Val Val. Was he here with Kind Tai? That was actually that was actually pretty funny. Um, I know uh, Val Vina. Probably a terrible, a terrible match today. Funny match of the time. Uh, the Godfather, who was a in pro wrestling, and Val Venus were supposed to have a match the day after Owen Hart passed away. I don't think it was planned, but they're like, dude, we're not doing this. Let's come out here, wave to people, give some people some high fives, let them cheer. Let's go in the back and party with a ho trade. That was funny. That was back in the day, too. And then we have a continuation of the Matt Hardy farewell tour. They're having him job out to everyone now, and I hope he comes back as the leader of the Dark Order has broken. Yes, Matt Hardy. As part of the leader of the Dark Order. Oh, that would be so good. It's not going to be Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette's like, yeah, right? He's not doing that nonsense. Stuff with them, even though they did show um, on AEW TV uh, Jim Cornetteish glasses and the tennis racket, yeah, and two staples of Jim Cornette. Uh, but it's Matt Hardy's farewell tour. He's just dropping out to everyone. He took on Eric Rowan, and Matt Hardy gets some quick offense. And again, delete. But wait, Matt Hardy's becoming obsolete. Because he will be deleted, delete, 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 delete. Now Rowan again, he goes to the cage. And whatever it is, bit him again. I still say it's a skunk. I'm not going to change on that. And then he starts to argue with the cage and like, begins to like knock the cage around. Whoa, that's just going to make the skunk even angrier. That's not good. Not a snake, because a snake wouldn't... A snake can't bite you necessarily on the... What can bite you on the palm? So when I got bit by a snake once, it took... I was trying to feed it. It got me there. And it wasn't profusely ble bleeding. I can see where its teeth went. But he got, like, bit right... I don't know. Could a skunk do that? Skunk will claw you. Skunk... They have claws. They can scratch you pretty good. Therefore, I say it's a skunk in the cage. Um, and again, he gets inside the cage, then takes out his frustrations on Matt Hardy, literally like, picks him up in a power bomb, tosses him ever so gently into the ring. Iron Claw slams him, not so gently, and picks up the win. Uh, I, I want to see what's in the what's in the box. It's a ham sandwich of a match. Then there's a Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe promo. Yeah, we're we're we have uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Um, I don't necessarily like you, but you don't like Seth Rollins. Therefore, I will fight with you until we get to said Royal Rumble. And I think throughout the night, everyone was saying they declared to be in the Royal Rumble. I do declare. I do declare. Wait a second. Didn't Martin Luther King say something like that too? I see this recurring theme going on. Um, then the Bollywood boys say uh, the one was trying to videotape Mojo Rally, who's the new 24-7 champion. The other, I think, Sunil Singh. 
was going to try to sneaky roll up Mojo Rally. Mojo just stared down at him, stomped him on the head, took out the other Bollywood boy. I like the fact that Mojo Rally, they're taking a different tack with this. Instead of him running from people, he's just there. So you really want this belt? Fight me for it then. And then he'll just pummel them. He's like, I'm not running. Just, just try try to take it from me. Which makes sense. It's different. Say ham sandwich. And wow, this is... I didn't need to... We had Bobby Lashley and Lana taking on Rusev and Liv Morgan. Bobby Lashley comes out, Lana. Uh, they come out at the 10.51 mark of the show, which means there's only nine minutes left. Lana cuts a, I want to say, like a four-minute promo. It was better. It was shorter. She came out in like some weird shimmery thing. And I'm like, oh, no. They're, they're not going to do a bra and panties, man. They're not going to they're not gonna have her expose herself, are they? Oh, God. Vince. Vince. Um, but that was better. Um, then Rusev came down. Liv Morgan has, has new ring attire, too. That's different. Cause now it's the more traditional female ring attire. I do miss Liv with her sports bra and yoga. And then Lana was wearing her Lana Day bathing suit with knee-high boots. They both look like characters from old school X-Men. Um, Lana's outfit looked like Wolverine's colors. Lana's uh, yeah, yeah. Lana's outfit looked like Wolverine colors. Liv's outfit it was red and black, but it wasn't Harley Quinnish. It did remind me, I think, almost of like a cross between Rogue and Jean Grey, or maybe it was Psy Psylocke. I forget. But it looks very X Men ish, though. Again, like mid 90s, cartoonish, though. The cartoon version, not the movies. It looks very, like, X Men ish, though. Now, it starts off by Lana getting out of the ring, running around the ring, Liv chases her. Um, eventually, they kind of, uh, Lana tags in Bobby Lashley. That means Rusev gets in the ring, we have ourselves a proper wrestling match. Uh, Lana does get does try to get a cheap shot in. <laughs> that didn't work too good. Just kind of annoyed Rusev. Um, there was almost a, the classic heel miscue, where Bobby Lashley went to go nail Rusev. Rusev ducked, almost took out Lana. Instead, Rusev rolled him up, got a two count. Uh, Rusev ate the Almighty Slam. Uh, Liv broke that up. Liv was Liv was pretty good. This is probably Liv's first in ring return since <laughs> since she got knocked out by the Bellas, like legit knocked out, kicked in the face. Bad Bellas, and since they're repackaging, they know she wants a concussion protocol, and they're like, well. Ruby Wright's out. I think she's undergoing shoulder surgery. You're in concussion protocol. Sarah Logan's the only one who's been wrestling. She just punched Dana Brooks square in the eye. So we'll hold off on you. We'll repackage you. It's, it's terrible, though. Um, doesn't make the save. She also does stuff up in the grave, which is pretty cool. Uh, lot, uh, again, Lana just dis makes the distraction, and Rusev gets speared for his efforts. And I'll tell you what, 
someone in that WWE production truck. There's a single guy. He's a dirty guy. There were so many. And Lana doesn't have a big booty. I just realized that. You would just live, really. Especially with those the outfits she was wearing. And where is Lana's something? Yeah, she was missing something. I forget what the... W... Yeah, I don't know. So something was... Oh, I know. She was, like, missing makeup because she looks different. And she lost the Russian accent. Meh. I almost don't want to care anymore. Like, And this was the main event. And also... Uh, that was a ham sandwich. Um, and that was raw. Kind of interesting show. Again, they have... I'll give Raw some credit. Even with the whole Bobby Lashley, Lana, Russo, Liv thing. At least they're drawing it out. So you're... You, and you almost want to say, what's going to happen to this train wreck next week? Because every because now Bobby Lashley's like, oh, okay, I, I fought Rusev a lot. I don't want to fight him anymore because of you, Lana. So like, yeah, I love you. I'll, I'll do what you tell me to do, but this is getting old. So I wonder how long they can continue with that. The Seth Rollins thing's pretty good. Mojo's pretty good. They have to do something with Eric Rowan soon. They have a slow burn going on. AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and Drew McIntyre, and the OC. So that's pretty good too. But Ray versus Andrade, it can be new instant classics. So overall, Raw was a cheeseburger. And that was Raw. So this week's schedule, folks. Um, Tuesday, I'll be doing both the NWA and hopefully Impact Wrestling Review. Depending on how badly, what punishment Impact's going to get from Twitch. We're having a live sex show with Rob Van Dam, his wife, and his wife's girlfriend. Yeah, and that was Impact. I'm just telling you what's happening. Wednesday night's gonna be AEW. Thursday I do my predict my predictions. Or I might have Dr. Tom do his predictions for the Royal Rumble. Friday is going to be the SmackDown and two and oh, it's just probably gonna be SmackDown because I have to get some sleep. So it'll just be a SmackDown re quick little SmackDown review. Sorry, I'm off. I have to work from noon till midnight. So I can't watch wrestling. That would be very bad for me. And then Sunday, I'll probably take a nap after work. I have to go to work early, take a nap, and then deal with the Royal Rumble. And that'll just be a review show because I'm, I'm still I'm still on punishment for live streaming because I was questionable. I'll say that. Other than that, everyone else have a good morning, day. Sometime. Bye.